work we're doing in stroke differs somewhat from the work we've been doing in, say, Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, and the movement disorders that have been treated for, say, two decades or more with uh, deep brain stimulation type of uh, technology. Uh, in those situations, we are largely using stimulation. We're still trying to modulate the brain circuits, but in those cases, we're trying to reduce motor signs, reduce symptoms, uh, whereas now with the research that we're doing in stroke, we're actually trying to use stimulation to enhance activity along specific circuits within the brain to augment the, augment the natural processes of plasticity and reorganization that we believe underlies uh, improvements in motor function following stroke. Our ultimate goal for in the short term for this line of research is to demonstrate that this treatment can be applied safely, it can be, uh, there, it can be applied feasibly, uh, and in the long term obviously it's to not only demonstrate improved clinical outcomes, but understand how it is that those clinical outcomes are improving. Do they match our hypotheses with respect to what we think is going on in the brain uh, is a function of improvements in those patients. And an interesting piece of our uh, research that actually extends beyond the treatment of stroke is probably whether or not we can use this type of uh, stimulation, treatment along these uh, different circuits that we're targeting just as a general means of enhancing or even diminishing activity along specific circuits to more or less upregulate or downregulate cortical excitability uh, as this type of treatment may have uh, uses beyond stroke in terms of uh, other diseases like epilepsy, traumatic brain injury, where we may want to sort of, uh, for lack of a better word, artificially uh, increase or decrease the excitability of the cerebral cortex. A key component of the BRAIN initiative as, as far as what it means for our work is that it's going to allow us to extend work that we're, is already underway uh, in meaningful ways that in addition to uh, our primary emphasis on clinical outcomes, can we improve uh, functional rehabilitation in these patients, it's going to complement that work and allow us to do some of the more basic science that goes along with what we've been doing over the last decade and examine how is it that we're uh, modulating the brain circuitry and whether or not that modulation can endure even beyond the time that we're actually delivering stimulation.